So a general mammalian xenobiotic metabolizing cytochrome 450 provides evolution of, uh, evidence of deep evolutionary adaptations to plant toxins. So the exposure of our ancestors to plant neurotoxins resulted in a positive selection for CYP2D, an enzyme that enables our body to metabolize opiates, amphetamines, and other drugs, including plant toxins, a variety of serotonin and reuptake inhibitors, and serotonin analogs. So there are significant human-chimpanzee divergences in serotonogic binding. A wide range of evidence indicates that the role of serotonin and the support of higher cognitive functions was modified in the course of human evolution. And the central effects of LSD and hallucinogenic drugs on the 5-HT receptors indicate that these are the prime candidates for the evolution of both our enhanced cognitive capacities as well as the basis for our spiritual experiences. There's a significant phylogenetic variation between humans and chimps that have substantial functional implications for cognitive processing capabilities. It is noteworthy that, in terms of the innervation of the serotonogic system, there's relatively little differences between humans and chimps and humans and uh, other mammals as well. And with respect to chimpanzees, we actually have substantial similarities in terms of some differences, divergences from other primates. However, studies by Pregnitzer et al. report findings on the 5-HT1D receptors for the amino acid sequences. And it shows that we do differ from chimpanzees in terms of these amino acid sequences. In comparison to chimps, uh, human serotonogic ligands, including several indoles and algots, have comparable binding affinities and uh, considerable similarities in terms of binding with a variety of, of uh, ligands to the receptor sites. But while the chimpanzee 5-HT1D receptors are similar to human 5-HT1D receptors, there's a chemical template differences that indicate molecular divergences among the 5-HT1D receptors of humans over our divergence from hominins over six million years ago. Um, Pregnitzer et al. examined the similarity of humans, chimps, other primates, and mammals in terms of the displacement at these serotonin sites by various drugs. And while there are highly analogous responses across a variety of different animal species in terms of different kinds of affinity for binding, humans and chimps differ significantly in terms of serotonin dissociation and uh, in terms of the greater displacement at the serotonin sites by LSD, which is about uh, uh, four times higher in humans than in chimps, as well as in terms of several ergots, the uh, uh, ergotylene and dihydroergotamine. And so while we don't know the specific genes that are involved in this, this I think provides direct evidence that humans evolved to more efficiently process what are generally considered to be the hallucinogenic or psychedelic drugs. So, in the process of human divergence from the hominin ancestors or chimpanzees, there was also a accelerated selection for a variety of polypeptide precursors and genes involved in opioid regulation. While we don't normally think of the opioids in terms of being visionary drugs, they are, and they do induce many of the same kinds of visionary experiences as do the psychedelics, although they have other side effects. Uh, studies by Wang et al. suggest that there is a uniquely human pituitary cyclase activating polypeptide precursor, PACAP, uh, that emerged in the uh, human lineage since our separation from our common ancestors, the chimpanzees. And the significance of this PACAP has to do with its role in terms of both a neurohormone and a neurotransmitter. And there's evidence that there was rapid selection for the human PACAP uh, across a variety of uh, suites in terms of genetic evolution in the human line. So this once again points to other specific genetic factors that promoted uh, our ability to use drugs in a way that enhances our well-being. Uh, so the natural selection for human progenorphin is uh, indicated in other studies. Uh, there's significant precursor molecules uh, that are involved in it as well. So the human evolution involved natural selection for genetic modifications that enhance the inducibility of endogenous opioid precursors. And 
and contributed to human evolution since these substances play a central role in perception, emotion, and learning. So there's many subtle changes in the way in which humans' regulatory genes have shifted across evolutionary time. Uh, generally, these involve uh, the maintenance of earlier structures, but the enhancement of higher cognitive functions. So why have we been selected for these kinds of enhanced uh, receptor uh, systems? We just focus on the hedonistic effects, on the euphoric effects. Uh, it's an incomplete model of these evolutionary adaptations. Um, we have to look at the broader functions of these substances in the brain, and in particular in the mesolimbic systems, where they play a, play a role in attention, in the integration of sensory motor behavior, and in the modification of behavioral programs. So, why we have these receptors must be placed in broad evolutionary terms. Um, the first half of this paper, first part of this paper, is really looked at the, the opioid receptors. And in my longer paper later this morning, I'll look more at the serotonergic system and also examine some of the ways in which these uh, receptors play a significant role in our ability to deal with a variety of stresses and strains. And I'll uh, look at the uh, ultimate mechanisms for these selections in terms of the ways in which these substances have enhanced our ability to not only integrate information, uh, but lead to the development of an ability to view the world in a substantially different way. So I'll link these enhanced receptor systems to the psilocybin mushrooms in the environment, to the production of a neural theology that provided the basis for a shamanic worldview, and then look at how shamanism played a key role in the evolution of human consciousness in consort with the effects of the psychedelic drugs. Thank you.